Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to Pure Aqua Video Library. Today we're going to talk about wastewater treatment. Wastewater treatment is a traditional method and also in a centralized or decentralized method, which is, contains a packaged wastewater treatment system. Containerized mobile package systems are all really at the end is the same thing. So we'd like to have you pay attention to what the traditional wastewater treatment plant is. Well, wastewater treatment plant in many cases is a great option to have because you can have a variety of systems coming to one centralized location and obviously the capacity of water treatment, wastewater treatment is much greater than the typical mobile or package treatment. The footprint is a question, but then in most cases you have to use the recycled water pump back to the areas that they already sent the uh, wastewater to the wastewater treatment plant. So in a lot of areas, such as rural communities, uh, decentralized, decentralized location, it would make sense to consider a wastewater treatment system that is containerized or is in a package system. So I take, I take your attention to the difference between the two. So if we, were, if we were considering a traditional wastewater treatment plant, we will have a housing community here, multiple, and then we will have other facilities that could be industrial, and then we will have a power plant as an example here. So having all of this connected and we use a shopping mall as an example. So having all of these connected to the wastewater treatment plant through sewage network all is pumped to the wastewater treatment plant. So now in order to utilize the reused water or treated water, oftentimes wastewater treatment plants, because they are located in the lower part of uh, the environment or lower part of the area, most oftentimes the reused water or recycled water will have to get pumped back to, the, to this location so they can use it for surrounding area, whether it is a green field, whether it's drip irrigation for potential farming or it's uh, recycled water use. These waters are constantly used and reused, but now wastewater treatment plant has to put a pump station or lift station to get this water back to these areas. Well, it's, it's been done. It's, uh, it, can be, it can be utilized, certainly one method of doing it. Now in the larger metropolitan cities, this is, this is a great way of going about it. Now let's use the same method that we have here and use the containerized wastewater treatment system as an example. So what we do is we remove the wastewater treatment plant and the sewage network and we position what we do is we position wastewater, containerized wastewater next to one of the areas. As an example, next to the community of let's say 100, 150 homes, more or less, it could, it could accommodate. So here we take the sewage water, we treat the sewage water, and then this sewage water is sent back to this community for irrigation and reuse of the water. So now we have eliminated the lift station, pumping, either sending the sewage to the wastewater treatment or getting the reused water out of the wastewater treatment. So that's a cost factor right there. And we can do that to every single one of them. So you can see that while we have used four smaller systems, potentially 40 foot container, containerized sewage water treatment, they can be ranging treating wastewater, industrial wastewater, commercial wastewater, municipal wastewater, and just about 
uh, every single one of them. Some of the more specialty based product treatments such as pharmaceutical, well it can certainly be designed ahead of time. Whether we are using the centralized wastewater treatment or containerized wastewater treatment system, we have to look at the economic of the plant and development. If you're in an area that it doesn't have existing sewage network and we are looking at multiple locations with the smaller, smaller clusters of homes and they're far away from one another, then we have to really consider how are we gonna get these to the wastewater treatment plant. Because by the time you build a sewage network and put the lift station in place and allocate the manpower and operation maintenance costs, you will soon find out that the alternative model, which is a containerized wastewater treatment system, is not such a bad option. Now, we talk about the benefits of wastewater treatment plant in a containerized uh, system. Now, it's, it's important to note that they're easy to deploy, uh, as, as easy as it could come to, certainly not exactly a plug and play because it requires some site preparation. It requires, in some cases, it requires the accumulation tank or equalization tank for the, for the inlets. But generally, majority of this preparation and site preparation is very, very minimal. It ranges from um, having a crane on site, uh, cement slab, and uh, proper piping and electrician uh, in, the, in the area where they can connect the system. Now these systems are in 20 foot containers or 40 foot containers. So the advantage is if you lose portion of your community here and you gain in this area, you can certainly adjust. What, what we like the most about the containerized system is the ability to scale to your needs. So today you're starting a community with new development, new economics that you wanna, you wanna attract a, a proper infrastructure so that way you can, you can bring new businesses or new people to move into your area. So in terms of building prosperity for your area, Containerized system can help you with the scalability without the cost or burden of having to scale the uh, traditional wastewater treatment plant. Although possible, but certainly more costly. So how we can achieve that is by starting at your minimum GPD and look at the cost factor and look at your growth expectations. Now you may start with a 20 footer container that it accommodates 15,000 GPD. Now we're looking at three years growth margin. That three years growth margin, you potentially are looking at maybe having another 20 foot containerized face powder treatment system or going into the 40 foot, they're all depending on what your economy is doing for you. Now this is scalability or the train system that you can connect these wastewater treatment systems together. It offers a very, very small footprint. But besides a small footprint, it's environmentally friendly. You're not, it doesn't require major construction. It doesn't have the cost of decommissioning. And you can certainly move, if need be, you can move the container system with very little hassle in comparison to the uh, traditional wastewater treatment system. So for the areas, the rural areas or areas that uh, they expect growth, this is an excellent model. Well, as well as campsites, because one of the biggest example of scalability, need for scalability are the campsites, whether it's a power plant, oil and gas, energy. You, if you need a campsite, particularly in mining, that those projects could take three to five years sometimes to, to get accomplished, you can, you can take these containerized systems and move it along as your project makes its progress. So there is very minimal uh, loss 
other than cost of operation, maintenance, and of course the transportation. Most heavy industries have the means of transporting the container because these are ISO standard containers, uh, it's a tip, your typical shipping container that goes in back of uh, any proper uh, transportation truck and it can be very easily shipped. So environmentally, these containers can have proper insulation to protect the equipment and the fluent from the, um, from the cold weather. So we can uh, plan for a proper temperature control to make sure the sewage is not frozen, therefore have, have the reaction to, to treatment that it comes with it. Now in, in future segments, we get into more of a technical review of what containerized systems do what are the treatment system, what are the options that we offer, and also the flow diagram of wastewater treatment process. For now, thank you for tuning in, and this was a pleasure.